hi welcome viewer in the fifth video of java programming lab in this video i am going to write a java program that uses both recursive and non recursive function to find factorial of a given number so here i have to write the code for calculating the factorial of given number using recursive and non recursive method so let me begin with without wasting your time so let me first save this program so the program name is factorial 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 dot java okay i have imported the scanner method from the util library let me declare the class the class is also the same as file name i am using factorial then i go for one method that is recursive method to calculate the to calculate the factorial so that is static int recursive rec and factorial so i hope you know the formula how to calculate int n so this is parameter i am passing and i am checking if n is greater than equal to 1 then it must return here i am passing actually the recursive method n into n into rec factorial of n minus 1 okay so this is recursive method because it is calling itself the same method within the method okay. then if not is return what to return here one okay. so this is the method to calculate factorial using records now i will write the main method and in main method i will write non recursive method to calculate the factorial so public static void sorry void main string as a anything i can use here then i am going to i am going to create one variable for a scanner to read the to read the factorial number to calculate the factorial so sc variable new scanner system dot system dot okay then i am going to print one message on console what messages if you are thinking i am going to print messages for entering the data then of course you are 100% right enter the number 2 number 2 calculate factorial so this is the message i am printing on console for user so user can easily understand for what the console is printing i am declare one variable int num and i am reading the data using sc next int okay then for factorial i am going to declare one variable fact fact equal to 1 then i am going to check if 
if the number is less than 1 this number which the number I am scanning less than or equal to 0 not 1 0 then the fact is 1 the fact must be 1 else else what I have to do I have to perform some operation to calculate the fact so I have to run one loop and I equal to 1 and i is less than equal to up to number so so the num i plus plus so this mean time i have to calculate fact equal to fact into i so i hope you know the concept this concept very well and finally i am going to print the message system dot out dot print hello what i am going to print here factorial of factorial of number let me make this very clear okay factorial of number using non recursive method sorry method is what that is I have to again write the value of fact so this is using non recursive method I am calculating a fact now I have to print the factorial using recursive method so I will copy this and I will modify it so we using recursive method and that method is I use the method name so method name is rec factorial and I have to pass number which number no so this way I completed this program let me save it and compile it and run it so I am going to command prompt once again I go for my directory desktop java I will check directory you can see that is factorial.java in directory that is so I will compile using java c and I will copy just copy this name and paste here and copy. if there is no error it will go to the next line and when I check the program directly it will show one byte code so you can show here byte code created with extension dot class so let me execute this java without extension it will ask the number for calculating the factorial so let me enter 6 so factorial of 6 is 7, 720 so one is using non recursive method and this is using recursive method let me run this and calculate it up to 25 so you can see this is the way to calculate the factorial in java programming using recursive and non recursive thank you viewer for watching this video and if you have any doubt then kindly do ask in comment section i will try to help you out so thank you once again for watching this video